The tunnel is done, it's time to start placing the top rows of modular buildings and we've got a new holy grail modular building I can't wait to show you, stick around to see it. Hi guys, what's up? It's me, Rick Master. Just want to show some progressions for this week on the Hello guys, welcome back to Brinkmaster and if you are new to the channel please hit subscribe so you can stay tuned, you can see everything that's happening, you can stay up to date. If you are already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back, I do appreciate it. So, let's crack on. Today's video, we've finished all of the wall at last, that is such a good feeling. I can now start a different project because it has pretty much just been the wall for the past few months. But as you can expect, that is a lot of money's worth of parts so it has took a while to get going. So now what we're going to be working on is getting more of these plates done for up here so we can get the top platform finished and then we're going to set out where we want these modular buildings because these aren't in final position yet. And as well we're going to be taking a quick look as you may have seen in last week's video it was my birthday so I have had some birthday gifts some really really cool ones and an absolute holy grail of a Lego set that I never thought I'd get. I could not believe it when I opened it. My wife really, really tripped me this year. So, I will be showing you all my birthday haul and then we're going to be cracking on and laying these buildings out and getting these plates sorted and I'll show you a rough idea of where we are with the wall up here and how we're going to connect it from the wall to the top platform. So yeah, let's crack on. So let's get started with the birthday haul. First up, my little sister, she went and got me this little Vespa build. Really cool little build. She got me that for my birthday from the Lego store. Cool little build. She went to face that herself. As well as this, uh, the Land Rover Classic. Based on the larger Lego set. Really cool little vehicle. I have one already, but it'd be cool to have two of these in the city. So yeah, that's the two little ones from my sister. And then my friend Ben, he knows I'm into Lego. So of course he got me some Lego. And he built me three minifigures for my birthday to go in my city. And I'm not going to alter these, I'm going to put them in as they are. So, the first one he claimed was Indiana Jones. Yeah, it's uh, I can see the resemblance. It's a striking, one-for-one one accurate Indiana Jones. So, we'll have that guy in the city. And then he made a representation of me. He knows that I work in a, like a recycling site. So, yeah, I wear a hard hat all day. I have a radio. So, he replicated me as best he could. That's pretty cool. And then as well, he's replicated Mrs. Brickmaster as best he could there as well. So she will be going in the city. I do like this. She's got Spider-Man trousers on because you never know. Mrs. Brickmaster might be Spider-Man and just not telling me. So we'll put them in the city somewhere as well. Let's move on. So Mrs. Brickmaster got me a sealed set as well. It's 60420. And it is the construction ex excavator. I work in a place similar to these, but they have grapples on the end here. So I'm going to swap it out to make it more personal to me. But it's such a cool set. Really cool. I like that they're coming back into construction because some of my favourite Lego sets were the old construction sets. And it would be good to see a return. Um, and you could even have a construction kind of modular building going on similar to the Bricklink one. So yeah, that's one thing she's got me. And then this one, I really couldn't believe that she got me this. It's second-hand, it is pre-built, but it was an absolute bargain, and I'm so happy I've got it. And it is the Modular Town Hall. Such an amazing set, I can't believe it. Um, to be honest with you, I was tearing up when she got me this, because I'd never expect to own this set. A, because of how expensive it is, and B, because of how rare it is to find one. It's in amazing condition. There is a couple of little bits missing, but the whole exterior looks absolutely bang on. The minifigs are there. Let me get them off. So it's got all the minifigs, and it's just such a fantastic looking build. And I can't believe that she's got me this in perfect time for finishing the platform, because I always said I'd love a town hall to be in the center at the top, just to kind of show off how good it had looked with the town hall at the top. So yeah, 
that was my birthday haul um an amazing birthday haul to say the least uh, especially with this i could not believe it thank you to all my friends and family that have got me things and yeah so we'll crack on with today's video and hopefully get this converted to mills So that's the first floor converted onto mills so we can now add the next floors on top that were quite easy actually compared to some that i've done before so we've got the inside where the people get married obviously the minifigures that are getting married a bench and a little statue waiting to go up in the lift it does have a working lift which is really cool and then obviously a little office where you pay for everything that you're having done your wedding etc so yeah Really cool. We'll add the next floor and we'll have a quick look at that. So the next floor has the balcony where it'll look down onto the Lego City. Obviously what I think to be the mayor's office. It is missing a clock, I believe, but I can easily replace that. I've got one. In fact, let's pinch that one because this one ain't staying here. So if we have that there, there we go. And uh, yeah, a cool little balcony to look down into the wedding area. And that's that floor. Let's have a look at this one. The next floor is just a meeting room. Really cool table. Obviously a nice window there. Tell me if you can spot who I've added. Might be quite obvious to be fair, but... Yeah. Add this floor on. And we've got the roof as well. Which is a really well detailed bit. Especially the brick built right in there from 1891. And this top window here. So yeah. Hopefully, now this is on mills, we can start working out where we want it all to go up here. So first, what I've got to do is I've got to lay out the road here again, just so I can guarantee that these red chairs here are the halfway point. And then, in theory, the town hall should sit in the middle above that. I've got to map that out, obviously, all the way up. And then we can start working on this. Obviously, we've got the lift shaft yet to do. I do have the parts kind of ready for that there it is i just don't know how we're going to tackle it yet so yeah we'll get this up here and then we'll have a jig around with these buildings first once we've got everything lined up and we'll see where to go from there So this is first draft, roughly what we're going to have. Um, yeah, I've switched the bugle and the Avengers Tower around because there's just more detail on this side of the tower that I want visible. And obviously we've got the Town Hall Central. So that's the first thing you see. I would like some corners there to kind of like separate it from everything. But then that just leaves two empty alleyways that wouldn't look good. So yeah, really happy with that. We've got the pub there. Just really happy with how that looks for now. Obviously, we can change it very easily because it's all on mills. I'm not going to use connectors for the top bit. I am just going to sit them in place so it is easily changeable if we want to. So, I'm going to have a quick go at laying out some of these plates to fill these gaps. And then we'll show you what we're going to do coming along all the way. So above there we've got the town hall and then obviously 
there's going to be a lot more detail than that. There'll be minifigures, market stalls. But this is roughly how we're going to go along all the way down each side to just make one nice street. I was debating either swapping out all of these for dark grey to match that or swapping the dark greys here to match the light grey. But I've got two options for the wall. So I've got all these fence pieces that I could put along there, run some black tile along top it. Or I could do the walls here with the curved tops. So if I was to put a minifigure, this is how they look in front of the black tile, uh, the black fence pieces. And then this is how they would look in front of the walls. So not quite sure where to go with that. I was debating doing the flat tile on the top like these ones. But I quite like that curve there. But I also quite like the fence. So I'm really not sure where to go. You could say I'm on the fence. Way. Um, but yeah. Some input from you guys would be so helpful at this point. Uh, just comment what you think looks best. Any suggestions that I could change it up with. Obviously patterns for there. If you've got any ideas for that. And yeah. So I'm really happy with that progress today. Obviously we've got that on Mills. That looks really good. And we've got all these plates. Thankfully, I had enough already pre-built just to go from edge to edge. We do have the gaps there, but I do have some plates ready to convert straight away for mills for that. We've got the lift shafts here. Um, obviously, the lift has now fell down because I've been playing around with it. I'm not really happy with how that lift worked out. Um, and as well, I'm not happy that this bit here is blocking a lot of the new town hall that we've added. So I will be altering this, I think, at some point, whether it be we move the lift to the side or whether we raise the town hall. We're going to be working on that. That's obviously an ongoing project. Um, we've got these walls done and we've got the top bit done here and all these platforms placed. So if you would let me know in the comments which one you guys prefer, the black fence or the rounded brick wall. And then as well, we've just got a bit of a last minute haul. Um, a couple of birthday gifts from a family member. As well, this is from my family over in Sweden. Thank you very much. Really like these. I put these in the city. Cool little build. And as well, loads of parts delivered because we are going to be making quite a few of these and I will explain as to why we're making these in the future. So guys, that is it for today's video. Once again, I just really want to ask if you are watching this and you aren't already subscribed, please do hit that subscribe button because it would mean so much to me if you want to keep seeing the Lego City content, all the future content we've got coming, mocks, modular mocks, uh, Star Wars, just we've got so much coming and I really would like to keep you like up to date with everything. So, and it does help me out massively hitting subscribe. Those of you that are already, thank you. Massive thank you to all my family and friends that have helped make this Lego video this week because obviously this modular building is fantastic. My wife's done amazing there, I can't believe it. And all the little gifts from family and friends that mean a lot to me. Thank you very much. And yeah, so next week's video, we are going to be making a custom modular building. It's a mock, I found it on Rebrickable. We do have the parts in stock, so I can't wait to make that and show you guys that as we crack on with that. Thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you all on the next one.